Dark red blood fills the bathtub. It spreads quickly, just like the depression did. You pick the razor back up, place it against your skin, and cut. Not deep enough to bleed out, but enough to feel the pain. Like, really feel it. And for what? Because someone called you a name at school today? Or commented on the size of your shirt? Or made fun of how your ears stick out a little too far? Whatever they said, do you believe it about yourself? Do you think what they said was true? Well, guess what? Those are just numbers, adjectives, nouns. We use them every single day. Your blood is not worth their words. There are three keys to being happy. One, surround yourself with people that make you smile more than cry. Build you up instead of break you down. Two, find a hobby that satisfies you and motivates you to do better. Let yourself be distracted by something positive instead of something negative. Three, ignore and push away anything or anyone that causes tear stains on your pillows and streams down your face or makes you feel bad about yourself. Self-harm is a choice. It is not forced upon you. No one decides your actions except for you. So when the haters attack you with words or physically, you don't have to respond in violence or cruel language or by harming yourself. Be the bigger person. Find the strength inside you to just walk away and not think twice about it. You are beautiful in every single way, so don't let words bring you down. You are never alone. There's always someone there to help you. <clears throat> There's always someone there to listen. You just have to find the right person. So when someone just keeps knocking you down, show the bullies, the judgers, the jerks, the selfish, the comments, the glances, the teardowns, that you're strong enough to not let what others say or do keep you down. Because when they bully you, it doesn't mean that you're weak. It means they are. So if you have cut in the past, don't be disappointed in yourself. The only things those scars represent is that you've been through something really tough and you made it through stronger than before. The cuts don't define you unless you let them.